Now what I want to do is go back to Flex and I want to uh, make a modification to show you what happens. So I'll go back to the Flex perspective. I'm going to open up the file and I'm just going to add a script tag. So let's open this up. FX script. And let's close that. And just say script goes here. I'm not going to do anything, just put a comment here. And uh, go ahead and save that project. Now notice when I've saved this project, I actually get a little star here which tells me my SVN needs to be updated. So let's update it. So at this point I actually want to send this data to my SVN. I actually want to synchronize my project with my SVN. So what I'm going to do is right click on the project and go team up here to synchronize repository. I'm going to actually bring this up a little bit to make sure you see that. So once again, right click on the project, go to team and go to synchronize repository. And that's going to look at your project in the repository, compare them, and tell you if you need to have projects brought in or taken out. Now let me give you a suggestion. You always want to make sure that you update your project before you commit. Because many times you can commit something and actually erase what's already there. So make sure you update first. And then here this arrow means from left to right that I'm committing this to the SVN. I can actually click on that and see what that comment is. And you can see the change between you can see the difference between what was and what is. You're going to use these tools up here to merge code if you have a conflict. In this case, we don't have a conflict since there's no one else inputting the SVN. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit commit. And you always want to leave comments, so I put script tag, hit OK, and it commits this over to the SVN. I see something needs to come in. I'm going to go ahead and just update that again. For some reason, I went back and forth. I'm not sure why. But everything's fine now. One more thing you need to do is Many times you have someone join the project that doesn't have a copy of the project, so they actually want to go to the SVN and check it out. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go back to the SVN repository exploring. There's my trunk. I'm going to right click on that test project and I'm going to check out. And this is going to be a brand new copy of this onto my Flex perspective. And since I've already got this project, I don't want to erase the one I have, so I'll just give it another number like two. And it's going to create that project for me. It's pulling all the files from the SVN, creating my Flex project. And let's go back to the Flex perspective. And see now I have a test to project, and you can see that icon there showing that it's connected to the SVN. So you can have many people connect in, grab the project from the repository, and start making changes. And that's how the SVN works. Well, let's go back to the blog. That was a real quick run through of what you're going to see here in the blog. Just a few things real quick in the bottom. Just remember before you actually commit, make sure you update first. You're going to get conflicts, so you're going to need to merge code. That's natural. And don't get wrapped around the axle. If you really mess something up, you can always step back to a previous version of the SVN. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively. Hey, come visit my users group one day. I'd love to see you. And that's setting up an SVN. See you next time. Bye-bye.